it's raining. I like the rain. Peace. Namaste. Um, I'm sitting here thinking about how my spirituality really isn't what I thought it would be when I began, um, when I, I guess, left the church or left Christianity and decided to um, pursue other things, pursue myself. Ultimately, I guess I was just pursuing myself, but I had no idea at the beginning that's what I was looking for. I'm not disappointed. I'm not disappointed. It's just that um, I'm thinking about how happy I was when I learned about impacts and what they were, indigo children, that sort of thing. I was so pleased to discover that the things that were wrong with me actually are right. <laughs> but even then, I was just relieved. I didn't think about what being an empath meant what that was saying to me. Um, I still didn't get it. It didn't click. You know, the the ability to be an empath is like having a gaming system. You know what I mean. And abilities like um, uh, I want to choose my words carefully. Um, things like uh, teleportation or or um, uh, telepathy or or telekinesis, those sorts of things. Flight. Um, those sorts of things are games, you know. You can't just, well, you could. You can go to the store and buy Grand Theft Auto V for uh, PlayStation 4 and come on home with it. But unless you have a PlayStation 4, you're not going to be able to play those games. It seems like empathy is... Your starter pack is your, it's your gaming system. Now, I do understand that there are some people who have the ability to gain without having empathy as their gaming system. But there's different platforms. You can also play games on PC and Xbox, you know, that sort of thing. So there's different formats. It's different um, programming, you know. But when I discovered that I was an empath, I had no idea whatsoever that it was a starter pack, that it was a PlayStation 4, you know, out the box with the new controller smell. You know what I mean? I, I ain't know that. I know somebody like Xbox a better system. Don't 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 fuck with my metaphor, okay? <laughs> so like I know I said in a video that I don't know if I upload it or not. Um I have said in one of these videos that I've recorded it that time that labels 
are mostly there to divide us from the collective, right? And that is true if you allow it to be um, divisive, if you allow it to keep you separate. It can keep you separate, but on the other hand of that, because for whatever reason, I see the world and dualities, you know, um, I, I see it from both point of views. Um, I'm just not polarized, I suppose. I, I can always see both views. I always can, I suppose, and do contradict myself because I just genuinely see both sides. Um, but the other side, um, labeling yourself, is that you have these terms to link yourself together with other like minds, you know. Um, you get to see what other people under that umbrella term are like and see the similarities and they can bring you together and they can bring you forward on your spiritual journey. That sort of thing. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, when I discovered that I was in that, I was happy to know that I wasn't crazy. But I did not give any thought to what it did mean. You know? It just didn't. And I've been aware that I'm an empath for five years. You know, half a decade. And it took me half a decade for it to dawn on me what it's all for. Shame on you, honey. Shame. So I guess that's just about it. You know, that's... That's what I got right now. I've been trying to do a video on um, energy. And how I interact with it. I felt as though it would be helpful for someone, but um, I keep having issues with um, memory card issues. It must be um, an important video. Anyway, thanks for watching.